What's an immediate red flag for you? Dot. Spoiling a show. One time witnessed a breakup and the dude's final words before walking away was the spoilers to the entire MCU, and his before that girlfriend was a huge Marvel fan but hadn't watched a few of the new movies. Somebody who talks too much about themselves. As much as a red flag when somebody never talks about themselves. Like it's always this person did this slash it's their fault. When the sea looks uneasy, a wise man fears three things, a storm while at sea, a night with no moon, and the anger of a gentle man. When a company says work hard, play hard, that means they expect you to put in over 40 hours of work and have no work-life balance. You can have a work-life balance. That's why they're having volunteer and social events outside of work you can attend. For instance one of my past bosses wanted drag us all to a pride event they were sponsoring. I was like, we're already working over 45 hours per week without overtime pay and now you want to take over our weekend. We did not attend the LGBT event and the bank's photo op moment in the paper was a little smaller. They call themselves an alpha male. Especially when they say start a sentence with a real man and finishing it with some kind of toxic masculinity trait. So what's your body count? On the first date, I genuinely thought you were talking about how many people they slash you killed. XD. Someone who is always complaining, about their job and co-workers, about their friends, about the server that was too slow etc. It's exhausting being with someone who is always so negative and I've found that people like this often blame others for all of their troubles in life. China's flag. This is more so a workplace red flag. I know most people are probably talking relationships and stuff, sorry guys, but when an employee is hired and then automatically starts either trying to run stuff or telling us incredibly personal things, as if he or she has been here forever. We have a new girl that is doing this. She has been there for a week. Three days after I met her, she was ranting to me about her kid being fired from his doctor's office or something and talking about her husband. She told one co-worker she hates him, one that they're split but on good terms, and one that he's the love of her life and that they're very happy. Not to mention she's acting like she owns the place and can do what she wants. For example, she also took an hour and a half out of the day to sleep in her car during lunch, our lunches range from 30 minutes at least to an hour at most. Also lounging all the time and on her phone constantly. My manager got another manager and our supervisor to come over to our location to observe this girl because we're all concerned and uncomfortable. Not to mention she also ate all of my co-workers candy and snacks. Sometimes it's best to test the waters, not dive straight into the deep end. Don't worry, it's not a pyramid scheme. Dot. Someone who can't admit they're wrong, or won't take responsibility for their decisions. When they talk about or ask for money early on, or when they suggest expensive dates and do not offer to cover them. I didn't think people actually suggested or requested expensive dates. I'm so flat broke that I always suggest just hanging out at a park cause it's, mostly, free, minus the gas to get there. Answering this for my stepmom making Pikachu noises during the deed. A person I've never met asking me for a gift card. I can't accept it when people reject me or say no to me. Dot. When someone says I'm not mean, I just tell it like it is. What's funny is that always, always, always these are the same people who flip their s if you say the tiniest thing critical of them. No one has thinner skin than a tells it like it is person. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Dot. Give me all your money. Don't make me hurt you. Dot. We don't need to use a condom. Why are you putting on a condom? I'm on birth control and I've been tested cool. Booty met you for the first time six hours ago and besides some texting and a dinner I'm not sure I'll necessarily trust you that much just yet. We're a big family here. Dot. Nazi tattoo. Being rude slash argumentative with a cashier slash customer service worker about a policy or rule they are made to enforce without choice. They don't make the rules. Please don't make their lives any more difficult than it already is. You wouldn't believe the kind if s they have to deal with on a daily basis. 
that I am attracted to them, more like they're attracted to me. Yelling at servers at a restaurant, yelling at other drivers, mistreating animals. When they don't ask you any questions about yourself, and when you're done talking, they simply nod their head and continue on with whatever BS they're saying. Serious turn off and major red flag. Asks if I'm up for a drive to the woods outside of town late in the evening after dinner to help dig a shallow grave for unspecified purposes. Whenever someone walks out of the bathroom without washing their hands. People who are rude to people in customer service. Love bombing. Carpet in a bathroom. The only dive bar in the town where I went to college was in the middle of nowhere. Both because it was a bathroom in the only bar, and because we live in a state where we have mud season, the carpeted bathroom was horrifying. I am a nice person all of my ex-partner were horrible, goes for both genders my past does not matter, was drunk so Linzer toxic behavior does not count admitting to have cheated in relationships never taking responsibility work is always bad everyone is against said person x. When someone is rude to a waitress slash waiters, about the quality of the food. Talking about their ex too much. Job hunting related. Even they say we're like a family we work hard and play hard when they're willing to hire you on the spot. The interviewer is late. The interviewer is rude. They won't discuss pay up front. How often I'm interrupted during conversation. It's an indicator of whether or not the speaker believes we are on equal footing and values my ideas. When someone is quick to anger say happy cake day, dot. A lack of self-irony and not easy to talk to. What's self-irony? I'm gonna guess it's making fun of yourself slash not taking yourself so seriously. When they humble brag that they don't use dishwashers. I've spent my life ignoring red flags on the basis I have a tendency to overanalyze everything and make bad decisions through perpetual indecisiveness. The end result is sure I've met some of the worst sorts of people in the world, but I've also met some of the best. Red flags definitely exist for a reason but sometimes people have just been through hell and still bear the scars. People who show aggression over a different opinion. Hostility over a viewpoint different than yours is enough to keep my distance from you at all times. Wants to control what music you listen to, what TV shows you watch and who you hang out with. Tattooed on the forehead. Oh good, mine is a tramp stamp, dodged a bullet there. I'm never wrong. Dot. I'm a nice guy. These guys ought to be captured for cash. I'm fluent in sarcasm. No, you're just telling me that you're not funny and you're probably extremely difficult to talk to. Being jealous of your friends or people of opposite sex before you even start dating. For an example. I'm giving you an opinion on something which is not a fact and you are just denying nor accepting something different than your opinion you don't have to agree with me. But why do I need to be wrong if you have your opinion okay but let me keep mine tf. Love bombing. Makes you feel like you're the best person ever and the center of their attention and affection, but it's all a manipulation to lure you in and keep you there. Literally just left someone who did this to me. Thankfully I caught on fairly quickly what was happening but it can be incredibly hard to see this red flag when you're so caught up in their attention. If she's an excessive drinking alcoholic. I'm an empathy sure you are. My ex told me that he hates all women and I still dated him so I'm gonna try to avoid that for next time. Fast-paced working environment. Dot. Altruistic bumper stickers like Be Kind or their church sticker. Why are you trying so hard to look like a good person, Blake? 